Greetings, everyone, and thanks for tuning in to another Great American Survival. I'm Marvin Ford, and in today's video, we're talking kayaks. We've got the new Pelican Icon 100 XP Angler. This is a wonderful, budget-friendly kayak from Pelican. It allows you to get started in that kayak angling adventure or just recreational kayaking. For under $500, picked up from Academy, this thing's been awesome. Hopefully, you guys, if you're looking at trying a new adventure, stick with us. We'll tell you all about it. This video is intended for all ages. All right, so if you're looking at getting into a new kayak or your first kayak ever, this one right here is a great budget-friendly entry-level kayak that's gonna allow you, even someone like me who's been kayaking for 30 years. I've been fishing out of kayaks for over 30 years. I um, fished out of whitewater kayaks in Southern California growing up, and I fished out of kayaks here in Georgia ever since I moved here in the early 90s. I love kayaks. They are so much fun. They are a great way to get out there and explore nature and just have some bonding moments with your friends and family. So this one right here is, we picked this one up. It was just under $400, but I've seen it as high as right at $500. So for a $500 kayak, I think this is a great price point for this kayak. Uh, this kayak will allow you to get out there, try this sport out, see if it's something you're gonna do, wanna do, and especially if you pick them up on Marketplace or somewhere like that where you're getting them used, you can even save a little more money. Now, the first thing I always have people ask me about is what's the difference between a sit on top and a sit inside kayak? Now, the first thing you're gonna understand is a sit on top kayak is a little, I think they're safer. They're not as stable as sit inside kayaks, but this is a sit on top but it allows you to, if you're out on the water and you flip this boat, you just flip it back over and these holes back here in the bottom, they're called scupper holes. And what the scupper holes do is allow water to drain out of the boat and not into the boat. So water will come up through the bottom of your boat on occasion, but it's designed to go out. Like if you flip it and it's full of water, if you do that with a sit inside kayak, you basically turn that kayak into a bathtub. If you don't have somebody with something like this to help you T-boat that and get all that water out, you're going to be dragging it to shore and having to deal with it that way. This kayak is 10 feet long, 120 inches, which allows you, the longer a kayak is, they tend to be more uh, easier to paddle uh, and go straight. Longer kayaks go, you know, are harder to turn basically. So a 10 foot kayak allows you to turn a lot easier because it's not as long. So this one right here is a 10 foot kayak, which is a great size, allows you to throw it in the back of a truck, anything like that, and still be able to grab this, carry it with, by yourself, because it's 50 pounds, under, just under 50 pounds as you see it here, with the seat and everything. Great kayak, I really like this kayak. I've owned quite a few Pelicans, so I'm gonna start showing you some more details of the kayak. All right, so first off, we're gonna talk about the specs. This is a 10 foot, 120 inch kayak which is 304 centimeters. The height from the bottom without the seat is 16 inches or 40 centimeters. The width at the widest point of the kayak is 30 inches or 77 centimeters. And the weight is 49 pounds or 22 kilograms. Price point is just between $399 and $460 to $500. It's a wonderful kayak. Now I'm gonna show you some up close personal stuff about this kayak and I hope you guys enjoy. All right, so first off, we'll talk about the front of the kayak. We'll start up here on the bow. We've got ourselves a very nice nylon ergonomic grab handle. We've got their label, nice embossed metal, metal tag screwed to the kayak. We've got ourselves a drain plug up here. It's got a little keeper to keep it from falling out. And trust me, you're gonna end up draining kayaks. It just happens. Up front, we've got ourselves a nice, I don't know, what is that, eight inch? Uh, storage hatch, which allows you to stick your stuff down in here, a dry box, a dry bag, things like that to keep your stuff dry when you're on the water. Stick your towels. Do not just stick your towels and your clothes loosely down in here. Put them in a dry bag. Keep them safe. Put them in a one-gallon Ziploc bag if you need to. You don't have to buy a dry bag, but there. once you buy one, it'll last you for a long period of time. They're great. All right, next, we come back here to the footwell. The footwell area, 
these are scupper holes. These scupper holes allow water to drain out of your boat when you get water in. Sometimes you're gonna be on the water, waves are gonna come over the front, boom, it's gonna come over the front of the boat and it's gonna drain out. They do come with scupper plugs, which you can stick down in there, but honestly, I never use them. I don't deal with uh, cold water, icy water, anything like that. I am in Georgia, so I don't really deal with that. I don't deal with it, see a necessity for me to use that. We've got a couple of tie off. These are pad eyes. These pad eyes right here allow you to tie off stuff. Here, sorry, I think I was bumping the camera. The pad eyes here allow you to tie things down, um, create leashes, hook things to it that you don't want to lose. Uh, up front, we've got an adjustable footrest right here. These things, you just kind of pull them out like there, pull these tabs away, slides up and down and adjusts. Nice, these things aren't really aggressive. These things aren't gonna hurt your feet. Right here, it came with this Pelican mount, which is a rod for a rod holder or any type of ram mount. These things are all great. They're, they come in really, really handy. So if you want to go fishing, you can stick this rod holder in there, put it like that. Has a keeper to keep it where you stick the butt down in there and this goes over the rod. Keeps your rod from just falling out, even if you flip your kayak. Wonderful. The footwell area, very ergonomic, very nicely done channels water to those scupper holes. That's important. Uh, little areas like here where you can throw your gear, throw stuff. Um, honestly, I don't recommend people putting their phone anywhere like this. I'll show you my dry box in the back. That's what I'm gonna keep my stuff in. Uh, we do have some tie off points where we can add some things. Right here in the middle, we've got a big access hole. That's what these are for. Like if you wanted to add another hatch like we have in the very front, we can put one of those back here. We got places for little tie-offs where it's flat, where we can add some gear tracks. That's important. We've got a place for a bottle holder. That's always nice. Now let's look back here to the seat. As we move back here towards the seating area, another set of grab handles, one on each side, another set of pad eyes. Uh, we have ourselves our little tie-off points. This is where we're gonna hook our seat. It's got a quick release buckle. That's gonna keep your seat where even if you flip, your seat's not going anywhere. Now the seat, these are great. Now people forget, when you take these seats, these are designed to be taken out, sat on the beach, sat on the bank, wherever you're fishing, wherever you're kayaking, having a good time, there's places like that. There's another snap in the back. The seat, very comfortable, very comfortable. Um, you can always buy yourself a couple of throwable PFD uh, pads, stick them in here, that'll improve your comfort. Puts another one across here that allows you to just be more comfortable. I have a bad back, so. I carry those, also comes in handy if you need to throw one to somebody that's in need. Being on the water, there's always an opportunity that someone could have a bad day. You might need your help. They could have flipped their kayak. It could have been in a sit inside. They're not gonna be able to just flip their boat. They're gonna need help. Go over, give them a hand. This will help you understand little things like that. If you'd like to, we can do a video show you guys how to help people out a little better. But this thing right here, great little seat. Let's pull it out of our way. Back here, we got a, this is another tie-off for the seat. We've got a quick snap, that's important. Those are great. Another set of scupper holes back here. We got some more back here in the very, very back. This thing's just great. It's loaded with a lot of different little quick, easy accessories that come in really, really handy. Further back, like I said, this is what I'm talking about. This is a dry bag. All you're gonna do, you're gonna take this, you're gonna stick all your stuff, blow some, get some air down in there, Twist this down, leave it full of air. You can use this if in an emergency to hold, help you float. It's gonna hold your air and keep everything dry. That's huge. One of the most important things you can take on the water with you every time you go. Next, you have dry boxes. This is a Plano dry box. I'll put a link down below where you can pick these up. These things don't run a lot. These are about $20. But this thing, if you have a big iPhone like I do, this allows you to carry all my GoPro gear, got my Go, some of my GoPros, got some memory cards, got some batteries, things like that. And it's just, I throw my phone in there, I throw my wallet in there, and I'm just good to go. Now, let's talk about the back of this boat. As we move back here to the rear tank well, we have two rear facing rod holders. Now these are out at an angle. So if you want to run a camera boom like I do, I'll put a link down below where you can find that video where I made one. I made one out of a painter's pole. Works great on the water. We'll take some great footage. I'll show you some quick footage here. Here, 
that's from this camera pole. We'll put that into the link. Um, here in the rear tank well, another place to mount something, another set of scupper holes. Got some really nice heavy, ver heavy duty um, outdoor UV bungee. It means this stuff's not gonna fade as fast as the cheap stuff you're gonna pick off on Amazon. Great, great setup. Big tank well, you can put your fishing crate back here, your ice chest, throw a big dry bag back here. Lots of different choices on how to run this boat. Next. Moving back to the very rear, like I said, these bungees just allow you to take something like this. You take that, you put your, like I've got my angle cooler. I can stick that back here. It's small enough. It works really good. It's a 25 quart. Back here, we got another, another grab handle. Front and rear, best thing to do if you have two people and you're carrying two kayaks, one person in the back grabbing both kayaks, one person in the front grabbing both kayaks, and you carry it along. Off you go. Next, we're gonna flip this over and show you the bottom of this thing. All right, next, we're coming around here to the back, bottom of the kayak. Now, right here, VIN number, that is important. If you wanna put a trolling motor on your kayak, you have to register it, especially here in Georgia. You have to have that registered to be able to run a trolling motor, otherwise you're gonna get a fine. Honestly, I just don't use a trolling motor. I like paddling, it's a lot of fun. Uh, the bottom of this boat, the one thing about these Pelican kayaks is the way this bottom of this hole is situated, these things ride real shallow. Uh, it can be really shallow water, and these things just paddle right through the water, and they do really, really well, but they don't sit really deep in that water. They sit really high, which is great. Um, this is a two-piece um, plastic hole. Very nice. As you see, you can see how it's put together, but that's the bottom of your scupper holes. As you see those, boom very nicely done the way it's going to do now what i was telling you about the way they turn you see how if you look at the bottom of this it's not straight it's kind of got an arc to it that's called a rocker the rocker allows your kayak to turn more aggressively to turn quickly when you want it to uh, but yet you still got that nice long keel running the length of it that's going to help it go straight when you want it to go straight just like what that's what you want in a kayak for a kayak like this that's in the $500 price range, that's a great way to design this. It works really, really well. All right, so that's it. That's this kayak. I hope you guys find these videos useful. If you do, give it the old thumbs up. If you're new to our channel, hit that subscribe button. Be part of our community, especially if you're new to kayaking and you wanna try this, guys, we have so many videos on kayaking. I can answer any question you have about picking your first kayak. I would love to help you pick one out. If you're here in Georgia, I can, I'm like, heck, I have, I let people borrow my kayaks all the time. I let somebody earlier this week or yesterday, it was yesterday, borrow this one, just yesterday. They used it before I did. I used it today. Love this kayak. This kayak is perfect and ideal for someone that wants a kayak that they can just pick up and throw in the back of their truck or throw on the roof of their car. This thing, all the, see how all this stuff is all flush, nothing sticking up, no big bumps or anything. That makes it so much easier for you to put it on a roof rack. That's important. Um, if you're gonna do this, if you take on kayaking, wanna try this adventure, first, get yourself a PFD, personal flotation device, a life jacket. Life jackets, that doesn't mean get one of these cheesy little orange things that you see that they give you on a boat when you're gonna drown when you're on the Titanic. Get one that's designed, I'll show you a picture, of for a kayak paddling life jacket. There are several different versions. They're not gonna break the bank. They're $30, $40, but they will save your life and they will make your time on the water that much more comfortable. Do not hit the water without a life jacket on. You can be away from shore, you know, just not a, not a big difference. You flip this kayak, the kayak floats away from you and you're not in your, you don't have a life jacket on, you can only swim for so long, okay? This is something I don't want anybody's time on the water to end in tragedy. I want you to build those wonderful memories, take time and enjoy nature and just be out there and just have some of the best times of your life. Some of the best moments of my children's lives. My youngest son is 11, my oldest son is 21, and they have both spent time since they were, you know, three or younger on the water in a kayak with me. I love it. I think it is one of the most pure times you can spend on the water. You get to have such a great experience and I hope you'll take it up and try it out yourself. If you have any questions about this kayak or any of the kayaks I've mentioned down um, in this video, please comment down below. Ask me whatever you need to. I've been doing this for a long time. I love kayaks, but they all, there are pros and cons about every kayak. This one right here, I think is a great entry level kayak. It allows you to pick it up, throw it in the back of your truck and carry it one arm, 
throw it up on your shoulder, carry it down to a place to go fishing and have a great time. Get to those places where people with bass boats and john boats, they can't go. That's what this is all about. Hope you enjoy this. Hopefully, if you have any questions, shoot them down below. But thanks again for stopping by. Hope you have a great week. Take time this week to get out there. Enjoy yourself. Enjoy nature. Be prepared. Stay safe. God bless, guys. I'll put a video down. I'll put a link down below where you can pick up one of these. I'll put a link to Pelican where you can do some more research. But I'll put a link to Academy where you can pick one up, hopefully local. Thanks again. Have a good time. Take time this week to enjoy yourself. God bless. We'll see you soon.